uh, triangle are separated to three parts and then each section OP is equal to PQ equal to QR at the same time they are cut parallelly so we are going to find out the ratio of the area of trapezium PQUT and QRST one of the key point is we don't consider this part and this part directly it's because two trapezium are not similar to each other we are going to find out some similar shape which is the triangle to a middle triangle to the largest triangle but this is difficult to understand at this moment it's because all of them duplicate each other cover each other so we draw them separately a smaller one a middle one and the largest one their ratio is 1 to 2 to 3 we can make good use of the length ratio whenever L1 to L2 to L3 is equal to 2 to 2 to 3 we can get the area ratio directly because the question asking about the area ratio therefore we know 1 square to 2 square to 3 square we know their length uh, their area ratio is 1 to 4 to 9 here now we can get each trapezium part by part the bottom trapezium is the difference between the largest triangle and the middle triangle so 9 pieces minus 4 pieces this is 5 pieces and the middle trapezium is the difference between the middle triangle and the small triangle so 4 minus 1 we get this is 3 pieces and this is 1 pieces if we add 1 plus 3 plus 5 together we should get back 9 pieces here now they are asking the ratio of this trapezium and this trapezium so 3 to 5 is very straightforward whenever they say length ratio and also about area ratio you should be really alert most probably we are talking about area ratio volume ratio something like that so uh, draw the similar shapes and then try to apply what you learned 